am not a single issue candidate. Wealth and equality, childhood poverty, guarantee health care to all people, create 13 million jobs, colleges as part of public education, broken criminal justice, institutional racism, climate change is real. I will not take advice from Henry Kissinger. A single issue candidate. Mass unemployment, children are going hungry, saying to the American people, don't give up on the political process. Don't listen to the Trumps of the world and allowing them to divide us. If we re-engage and get involved, yeah, we can have health care for all people. We do not have to have massive levels of income and wealth inequality. Why in God's name does Wall Street make huge campaign contributions? I guess just for the fun of it, they want to throw money around. Why does the pharmaceutical industry make huge campaign contributions. Why does the fossil fuel industry spend huge amounts of money on campaign contributions? We have to get unaccountable money out of our political system. We have today a campaign finance system which allows Wall Street and billionaires to pour huge sums of money into the political process. We agree that we've got to get unaccountable money out of politics. Let's not insult the intelligence of the American people. People aren't dumb. Yes, does Wall Street and big financial interests, along with drug companies, insurance companies, big oil, all of it have too much influence? You're right. Democratic society has a moral responsibility to play a vital role in making sure that all of our people have a decent standard of living. Aligned with a corrupt campaign, finance system is a rigged economy. Yes, the economy is rigged in favor of those at the top. Millions of Americans, working people who have given up on the political process, they don't think anybody hears their pains or their concerns. Young people, low-income people. What this campaign is not only about electing someone who has the most progressive agenda, it is about bringing tens of millions of people together to demand that we have a government that represents all of us and not just the 1% who today have so much economic and political power. Thank you all very much.